Hello everyone, today we're going to have uh, a go at doing a very quick, cute snowman which is great for doing Christmas cards. Um, so um, the first thing to do is to choose your snowman. There are absolutely loads on the internet, um, all different styles, um, a lot of them are clip art so you can just copy them and um, or print them off. You know, so the, there's lots of different things. There's some really sweet ones with hearts, ones with a broom, ones here's um, juggling snowflakes. Um, so there's hugs, one with a robin there. So there's lots of lovely ones. So the one I've picked for today is um, one who's looking a bit cheeky, but he's delivering a card, a Christmas card. So um, that's the one I'm going to do. So I've copied this and if you want to you can download this one from my website, I'll put the details up and um, use this one as your um, base for um, your card. So cutting out the shape. I'm not going to worry about the tassels on his scarf, I'm just going to cut them off because we'll add them onto the finished painting afterwards. It's a great idea using a template if you're going to do a few because it saves you having to having to um, draw them draw each one out separately and then it's uh, just makes it quick and easy. So there we go. So now I'm going to Put this on my piece of paper and draw around him. I'm only going to draw the outline because we'll put the detail on by hand afterwards. So if you just get them lined up into the right position on your piece of paper, like that. Well, now we're going to give him a little bit of background. So this is where the edge of the scarf is. So if I just um, put a bit of background there so it doesn't cut through there. And you'll see why in a little while. And then maybe that one. Okay. Now the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take a fairly large brush and I'm going to just um, wet all this background carefully going around the outer edge of the snowman trying to keep that dry keep the water off it but put plenty of water around him okay I'm going to do the sky in um, a little bit of um, indigo blue. If you prefer, you can use uh, a different colour blue. I like this one because it's um, nice and um, a nice strong colour. So I'm just mixing up a little bit of my indigo blue here. And I'm going to pop that in. So I'm going to just start at the top and go across like that. I'm going to leave a moon shape or a, a circle down here. So it'll go nice and soft because the paper's wet. So uh, I get like a fuzzy moon and I'm not going to add any more colour so the sky is going to be a little lighter as we go down. There's plenty of water on there so all the time it's getting diluted and we just come on down to our horizon line. I'm 
going to leave that for a couple of minutes just to um, settle and dry a little bit. Having let that dry a little bit, I'm going to now add some thicker paint, same colour, to indicate some distant trees. So if you just start at the horizon line and just put a few strokes going up to suggest some fir trees or something in there. In Blue Peter style, uh, here's one I did earlier. Uh, while I'm waiting for that one to dry, I'll start working on this one here. So the first thing I'm going to do is put in the details. So it's quite easy. Um, we'll start with the hat and we'll just put a curve in where the bottom of his hat should be. Um, there's the band that's going to go around and we're going to put a couple of holly leaves in there and on this side and a few berries and then the top of his band goes round his nose just a carrot shape slightly rounded and just a couple of little eyes and of course a nice smiley face draw his head in and now we're going to put a scarf in so top part of the scarf doesn't have to be exactly the same and then it wraps around his neck and we get if you follow this this line up that gives you the back of the scarf here um, few buttons down his front and where the bulge of this comes out if you continue the curve in up and a little curve like that just makes um, a little hand for him and into there you can put your envelope all right so that's the basis of doing the um, drawing. Um, we could put a few um, lines across just where we're going to put this stripy scarf and of course the one round his neck goes that way. Okay now we're going to use a little bit of the same blue that we used before so up to you which one it is, ultramarine or um, indigo in my case. And we're just going to put a little bit of shadow on our snowman before we paint any details. So quite pale, plenty of water in it. So there's got a little sh bit of shadow under his hat, a little bit around the base of his chin, a bit down the side of his body. And if we just make a kind of a rounded shape in there and then just continue it out and um, of course a little bit under his arm here under his armpit there we go and now I'm just going to take a little bit of the green, a bit green. I'm using sap green here which is a nice bright green and we're just going to paint in the holly don't worry too much about it because we can um, um, go around it afterwards with a pen I'm just going to put the green band in okay so now I'm going to wait for that to dry and we'll move on to uh, the next stage Again in Blue Peter style, that um, example is now drying, so I'm going to move on to one I did before and I'm just going to pop in some nice bright red for the berries on his hat. So.
all right and you can use a little bit of that same color but slightly watered down to do his nose and then fill in his scarf with the stripes Okay. And now, entirely up to you, um, if you feel, feel more comfortable, use a pen, just a black gel pen, and just colour in his eyes. Make sure that the paint is properly dry before you do this. And there we go. Now, in order to um get around this hat make sure it's nice and dry again you can just draw around your shapes with your pen and it, it just makes it a bit easier because it's a bit fiddly and then you can just fill in the awkward shapes with your black pen and then leave a little gap at the top where there's a bit of snow and then do the same for the brim. What I have done here, I've left a little bit of white here and a little bit here. So if you just take a damp brush, you can just um, put a little bit of water on that and it just grays it off so it's not quite so bright and it looks like a little bit of shine on his hat okay next thing then um, is to take your pen and we're going to draw around some of um, our shapes now so on his nose um, make a few sort of little marks like a a carrot has. Um, draw in his face. The outline of his scarf. And put the tassels on. Draw in his envelope. And his arm. There we go. Right. Um, just put some buttons in. And the final thing, and uh, entirely up to you, whether you use a bit of acrylic paint or a gel pen or um, a Posca pen, you just go in and put a few snowflakes. And if you do one or two bigger ones, one or two on his hat, anywhere where it's nice and dark where they really show up, Looks uh, really effective. Okay. So that's uh our drawing done so um, I can complete that um, I've got four now on that sheet 
so great for doing um, a whole series of these for perhaps all your grandchildren or whatever so the next thing I'm going to do is mount them I bought a pack of 50 uh, envelopes and uh, cards uh, from this is from Hobby Craft but you can get it from most craft shops so and they come with the um, crease in ready to put the fold in so you can just literally fold that over so having uh, cut out and trimmed up my snowman I'm now going to use some double sided tape to stick it onto my card Peel off the back. And we take our card and we place that nice and centrally. If anything, a slightly wider gap at the bottom. Just place it on our card. And there you go. And then you can embellish that with a Merry Christmas or pop a bit of glitter on it. And then inside you could always write or stamp Merry Christmas. So there we go. A really easy little project. Great fun to do. Um, kids will probably enjoy doing this one with you as well. So um, go ahead and uh, get cracking. You've got a few weeks left before Christmas. So um, let's see all these handmade cards. Um, do hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed this little demo and uh, keep up to date um, if um, you want to see what else is coming up. Alright, speak to you soon. Bye.